courage. Developing confidence. And building character. That's the mission of USA Nordic Sport. Hey everyone, I'm Ben Loomis, Nordic Mind Skier from Eau Claire, Wisconsin, and I ski for the Flying Eagle Ski Club. Hi everyone, I'm Paige Jones. I am from Park City, Utah, and I ski jump for Park City Ski and Snowboard, and I am on the women's national team for ski jumping. Hi everyone, I'm Sam Masuga. I'm from Park City, Utah, and was originally part of Park City Nordic Ski Club, and I am a member of the women's ski jumping national team. Hello everyone, my name is Andrew Erlob. And I'm a member of the USA Nordic men's national ski jumping team. I grew up in Eau Claire, Wisconsin, and I'm a member of the Flying Eagle Ski Club. Hello, my name is Annika Malasinski. I am a women's Nordic combined national team athlete, born and raised in Seamount Springs, Colorado. Women's Nordic combined is not in the Olympics yet, but we are fighting for 2026 and 2030. Well said, Annika, and thank you to all the judges, a great slate of judges, and I hope you're comfortable because we've got the U14 boys, the USA Nordic Virtual National Championships, and it is an enormous field. 16 ski jumpers from across the country. You can do with Austin Johnson out of Steamboat, 16 skiers later, we'll see him finish up with Will Coffin out of NICEF, a lot of great skiing in between. But first, we go to Austin Johnson. Steamboat Springs, Colorado. Looks like a beautiful evening. Hills look in perfect condition. Strong with that upper body. A wide beast down. Ho oh, ho! He takes it to the pit. Could not finish that one off. Did everything he could. Will says he's a funny person. Nothing to laugh about here. Wonderful jump for Austin Johnson. 93 points. The judges love it too. He's in the first place with a mark that's going to be really difficult to beat. We move now to his teammate, also from Steamboat Springs, all, Everett Baldwin. Yeah. A little different look. I like the way he's sitting there. I like how smoothly he sneaks out into that air. Everett, wonderful with that upper body. Look at that. Right out over the skis. Wonderful V-style, catching tons of air. 84 points for Everett Baldwin. He's in second place. We move next to Jackson Shoot. Another Steamboat Springs, Colorado skier. Same hill, maybe even the same night. Another low upper body, strong with those legs. He took it way down that hill. Did everything he could to hold on to it. Look at the skis, out flat him, right out over him. Jackson says he loves soccer. He just blasted one, top right corner there. 94 points, moves him into first place. We move to the Midwest, Jacob Larson in the St. Paul Ski Club. Jacob said he loved skiing some of the larger hills this year and his favorite event was the Junior National Team event. Wow, again, upper body, so much effect from that takeoff and he just soared that thing. Watch this, upper body's in a perfect shape. How high he is at the bottom there. Had to pull the ripcord just a bit. I think his hands didn't touch. Judges loved it too, 92 points, Jacob Larson doing St. Paul proud with that jump. Just floated it. We move next to Caden Graham. Back to Steamboat Springs, Colorado. Another beautiful night. A lot of snow out there in Steamboat. Boy, everything's square, nice and square. Nice B style, little telemark landing. Caden had three U14 podiums this year in the West. Boy, just so smooth getting out into that flying position. Wonderful job, Caden. 82 points puts you in fifth place. We move now to the western slope of the Rockies to Park City, Utah for Logan Cadman. He qualified for the U16 Junior National Championships, finished 11th in that event. So he skis up, he skis down. That looked like a nice ride. Taking a look at it again. Big kick off the end. Got a lot of float out there. Very poised in the air. Logan Cadman 
They like it. 87 points. He's in fourth place. We're going to move back to the east now. Jim Matthew Torvell, Andover Rounding Club, lives in Canaan, New Hampshire. Interesting story here. Broke his hand early in the season, so turned to coaching. Before he broke it, he had that ride. Boy, everybody take a look at this. In run position here is just wonderful. From that position, moves nicely. Skis come at him a little bit. Makes no turn for him whatsoever. 78 points. Matthew's in seventh place. And thank you, Matthew, for getting back and coaching. Also in the East, from NICEF, Lake Placid, New York. Max jumped the K120 hill this year. Holy smokes, look at that go! And he finishes it off with a telemark. Boy, the 50 meter and 11 is nothing after you've been off the K120 in Lake Placid. I can't say anything except that is just gorgeous. I thought I was watching ski flying there. And yes, the judges agree, 96 points. Max Fay has moved into first place with that jump from Lebanon, New Hampshire. Back to Steamboat Springs, Miles Warnkel. He's just 12 years old, nor a combined skier. Type one diabetic, does not let that get in the way of anything, even the cross country skiing. Strong from the takeoff and high. Bobbles, how athletic that save. This was actually Miles' longest jump of the season on his favorite hill in the country. The K45 at Steamboat, and wow, showing some poise and athleticism there. 79 points for Miles. Nice effort. We move next to Nathan Ryan from the Steamboat Winter Sports Club. Skiing today, though, in Coleraine, Minnesota, where he won the Junior Elimination Tournament, won the gold medal in the Junior Championships in Coleraine. Looks like a nice jump there, taking a look at it again. Kicks it hard, got a nice V-style float, 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 and the telemark landing. The judges like it too, 90 points, fifth place for Nathan Ryan. Next up, also from the Steamboat Winter Sports Club, Nico Baudre, who says he loves to play hockey too, so two winter sports. We're watching him back in Steamboat Springs. Smooth to that air, did not move anything. Quiet arms, everything very simple. Boy, does that make it effective for Nico. Telemark landing, right foot back, 89 points, puts him in sixth place. Congratulations, Nico. Next to Simon Walker from the Blackhawk Ski Club. Says his favorite jump is the Norgi 70 meter. Not surprised at all. You can probably see his house in Madison from the top of that jump. It's flat out there, and that's a high takeoff. This jump here, we're gonna get a look at it again. I like the way it sits. I like the pop at the end, and I love that telemark landing. So did the judges. 88 points, Simon. You're in seventh place with a nice jump. Next up, from Brattleboro, Vermont, the Harris Hill Ski Club, Spencer Jones. Looks like he's on the K38 in Andover. He won on this hill earlier in the year, and you can tell he's comfortable on it. Oh, I love it when these guys are so aggressive with that upper body. Look at the way Spencer just chases those skis. He is not afraid and forward, forward. 80 points, 11th place. He got to jump 11 and 50 meter this year too. A big step for Spencer. Now on to Ethan Maines from the Steamboat Winter Sports Club. Eight Steamboat skiers represented in this virtual nationals this year. Ethan, big, strong kick. Boy. How simple is that, Ethan? It just right out to your skis. Plunk in that telemark landing. Uh-huh. Nothing moves. Athletic boy skier there. And the judges, they think it's a nice one too. 91 points puts him in fifth place in this tight, tough U14 boys competition. We move now to Will Coffin from NICEF, Lake Placid, New York. He's the Lake Placid Middle School Badminton Champion. That's what you're looking at here. So great hand-eye coordination. What can he do with the upper body? He can keep it low. And boy, is he strong with those legs as well. Will, excellent job. Sitting nicely. Everything square. Upper body comes up a little bit, but he uses that to throw himself right out over those skis. Soars it down the hill. 85 points, say the judges. 10th place for Will Coffin. A fine effort. And Will, I know you're going to be going long distances in the future. But there we have it, the U14 boys. Final results in first place from Lake Placid, Max Faye, followed by a couple of Steamboat boys, Jackson Shoot, Austin Johnson.
The Midwest breaks in there with St. Paul's Jacob Larson and Ethan Maines in fifth place from Steamboat Springs. On behalf of USA Nordic Sport and the 2023 Virtual National Championships, this is Jeff Hastings saying so long.